Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Jessica Hinlow. Uh, this is going to be my run of the women's tournament. I don't know how this is going to go, but I figured this was a good opportunity to film my matches and post them to YouTube. Uh, I also stream on twitch.tv slash Jessica Hinlow. Uh, so we have five minutes before like the event actually starts. 171 players registered. Um, sorry, kitty, I didn't mean to scare you. I don't do well under pressure. Uh, and I am feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. 15 seconds. The fear has consumed me. I don't know how to play Pokemon anymore. I don't know the first thing about anything. Okay, we now wait for Bracket. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I don't know if it's like, boom. Oh my god, three people registered in like the last five minutes. Those are all people that are going to beat me. Teenage angst. I can't say that anymore, I'm not a teenager. Do adults get to have angst? <laughs> what do they call that? There's no prizing, it's just the honor of doing your very best and becoming the very best that no one ever was. I did check in, right? Did I check in? Tell me I checked in. Did I check in? I know, I, I had to have checked in. Waiting for bracket, waiting. The bracket. This is the bracket song. What if I don't win a single game? And that was my only goal. How do I how do you deal with loss? Okay. According to the unfinished bracket, I go against somebody named Hannah from Great Britain, I think. Competitive mindset. Levi, will you smack me in the face? <laughs> Gently, but like on this side so it doesn't like not too hard. Okay, no, that's good. That's enough. I flinched hard enough. I am incredibly nervous. I can't do this. I'm not a competitor. Oh my god, wow. The amount of ang literally just pure anxiety I feel um, surging through my chest right now is unbridled. Confidence is important. Uh, if she goes with the sun lead and doesn't bring Rotom, I think literally just leading Sneasel Colossal, um, I one-shot Charizard. I think I need Delmise for the Rotom and my own Dusclops in case she brings the Trick Room mode. I don't think I've played this particular team, but I like am decently familiar. I don't think she would just lead Charizard Ninetales, but if she does, or sh lead Charizard something, because she probably switches in the night. Well, I don't have weather actually, so she doesn't have to worry about that. So sh I, if she leads straight Charizard Ninetales, I think I have a decent, like, go of it. Um, she actually goes Rotom Amoongus. I'm gonna go for just killing... Is the Amoongus bait, though, for something else? Like, is it bait for a Max Flare? I'm also worried that if she maxes the Rotom, that it will just one-shot me. But I don't know if she's gonna go for a Rage Powder. I think I already did a decent misplay there. Um, but I almost prefer to lose game one, because generally when I lose game one, uh, I'm able to do better game two. With the information that I Okay, he did go for Rage Powder. I was worried that he might go for Spore, so that was my bad. We're probably not gonna kill uh, the Amoongus. Well, that did a decent chunk, but we don't activate our own weakness policy. He went for Nasty Plot, um, so I probably could have gone for a free Max Flare into the Amoongus. Oh my god, that did literally no damage. Okay. Um, we're not in a fantastic spot. I should have just realized that she was- why would she have gone for Spore? Like, that was just me overthinking, I think. I think she always clicks Rage Powder, uh, and I, if I would have Max Flared, then it would have been dead and I could have focused on the- but I don't think now that I live a boosted anything. I do have stuff in the back to take care of Rotom, but she has extra turns of Max over me now. Unless for some reason she targeted 
the Sneasel, but I don't think she would do that. To me, Sneasel's not really a threat, but I have seen people target the Sneasel. Okay, goes for the Colossal. This should kill. I'm gonna bring in Dustclops just because... I don't know why I brought Dustclops, actually, now that I think about it. There's no reason for me to ally switch, probably, um, because of the whole, like, sure he doesn't have a loop that would not damage. I think we're gonna lose game one. Not to already be calling it, but I think letting him get a nasty spot. If we get like a flinch on this ice school crash, uh, there's a chance. Oh, he goes for the dust pops. That should not kill. But we do get confused. If he targets Sneasel, we don't die because we're Sash. Rest in peace. The Rotom probably still somehow has like max flare, right? And if this Icicle Crash doesn't just kill the Charizard or get a flinch, then my Delmize is dead before it gets a chance to hit the Rotom. Um, so we're hoping for a flinch or a crit. She goes for the sequel. I think that was a mistake. I don't know how much Power Rip can do to a Gigantamax Rotom, but this is the last turn of Max. Delmize is full health now. Oh my god. Okay, that actually probably just cost the game. Um, I'm hoping for a flinch on the Ninetales, because I'm assuming it has something like Heat Wave or any move that will literally just one shot. The misses here are really frustrating. Okay. Uh, that sucks really, really bad. Um, I can afford a round one loss, right? <laughs> I just have to not lose again. That's simple. Easy peasy, no big easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, she goes for max. I kill Charizard. I'm pretty sure. I think I one shot no crit. Unless it's EV weird. I just need something not wonky to happen here. Okay, that sucks. Um. Oh my god, it kills through that. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh my god, that is so good. What? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, even if I lose, um, I'm like about to cry. <laughs> I killed a Pokemon uh, that threw a berry. That's it for me. That's all I need out of this tournament. Originally, it was... I needed to win one game, now it is, it doesn't matter. I have accomplished all I need to in life. I'm sorry for the sun, um, the curtains are like, the cats like to sit in there so I don't want to mess with them too much. So went Dustclops, uh, so she's probably going to go for Trick Room here, but I do have Delmize in the back so I feel like it's not that big of a deal for her to go, to trick, for, go for Trick Room. Um, I actually don't need to set Sun, because Sun is already set. So we're just going to go for another Volcalith. Uh, and then we're going to lash out into the Dustclops. If I can avoid using, having to deal with Trick Room, that is preferred. But I don't know if just a Volcalith will kill it. The Dustclops is pretty bulky. I don't know if even this will kill. Okay, cool. Um... I don't like to call things too early, but I think this like puts us in a pretty good position. Depending on what her last mod is, I think we are like, okay. And I just need to like, okay. I want to kill this as quickly as possible. Um, 
Um, heat wave should not do that much. Okay, getting burnt absolutely sucks. Choice Specs Ninetale still does so much damage that it is um, insane. I'm feeling okay. Sun is up, so I can Solar Beam in one turn still. Um, I think this is- we actually have a pretty good Sun matchup. I think game one I was just really nervous, um, and did not play well. The problem is now is, does she bring the same again? Because obviously I one-shot the sun. But honestly, I think it's safe to do the exact same thing again because the first time I just misplayed, like I overthought like what she would do. I guess I'm still a little worried because she probably brings Rotom again this match. Um. Rotom, if she doesn't go for Nasty Plot, and she just, well, actually, if she does go for Nasty Plot, she can just one-shot me with Rotom, and then it's hard to kind of recover from there. Okay, she does go for the same leads this time. Um, I'm a little nervous here, but I think if I proc my Steam Engine, I kill Amoongus with one hit, unless it's, like, Sash, uh, and then I should outspeed the Rotom and kill it with an overgrowth. Um, actually, even if it's Sash, we should still kill it because of, um, thanks for giving me a sausage on a paper towel. <laughs> okay, hopefully Rotom goes for Nasty Plot here. Um, if he does, we outspeed him next game, or next turn. And I should one-shot him. At least I think we one-shot him when we outspeed him. I'm a little worried about that. Okay, that's Ninetales. Ninetales doesn't, like, worry me at all, really. The only thing it threatens is Delmize. Um, uh, my Delmize is actually OP. I love, I would die for the anchor, but um, I, even with, the Ninetales, I'm not that scared of it. Because the heat wave that the Ninetales did didn't do that much damage, but I don't remember who was dealt. Well, it was Sylveon and Rotom, or Sylveon and Colossal, but I feel like it, the heat wave still didn't do that much, so I don't know if it would be able to, like, one-shot the Delmice. Okay, we still outspeed. I don't know if this kills, though. It doesn't kill. We might- I mean, we lose Colossal here. It is good and worth knowing, though. Oh, any proc berry, so lash out won't kill it either. It is worth knowing that max overgrowth does not one shot um, Rotom. Okay, now I'm I'm honestly a little bit worried. Wait, I think I might be okay. Is Sylveon faster than Rotom? I mean, we don't know this for sure. It could be Eevee. If I outspeed a Rotom Wash. Okay, never mind. I don't want this. We are gonna lose. Wait. Holy sh. Holy sh. Wait. I might be okay. I might be. <laughs> Me panicking because I might still win. Okay, okay. I need to bring the anchor out, protect, because the anchor will just die if they're both on the field and hope a hyper voice cleans up the charizard because i think the charizard probably one shots the sil or like ko's the sylveon with what at what point it's at i'm assuming he's gonna go for, she's gonna go for like a heat wave uh we know it has hurricane actually i'm a little nervous this like 2v2 is like not super ideal for me here okay he does go for heat wave can we get a miss we cannot we're gonna die to heat wave Okay, we're gonna lose. That was my, that was my like only win con. Okay, that sucks. It's grass. Why is an angel black? It's grass and ghost type. Um, that kind of sucks. I like 
don't know where I like made my misplay because I feel like I like had decent control over the game. I don't know if it was the not one-shotting the Rotom. I mean, I can still come back. I won a game and I feel like I did gave her like a decent challenge. I don't know. I think I played well. I guess I shouldn't have ignored the Ninetales for so long. I can still come back, right? To be fair, uh, I made the mistake. I didn't have a single person that I tested against that used Rotom. Although I knew West when I saw it in the like selection screen that it was gonna be an issue. I think I played really well game two. Um, I mean, I won, but like, I really fumbled the first game by overthinking and that's like my fault, like working on being in a game mindset, I guess. I'm pretty sure I outspeed the Rotom no matter what. Uh, actually, maybe not. I haven't done enough practice against Rotom. I'm kind of regretting the the set on my Dusclops. I think I don't I'm not like good at using this dust clops. I have to like work on not being that hard on myself. Like I need to find a balance of being like you can do better and like tearing myself up over an online tournament. That's my first event.